Ladies and gentlemen, KK Kim here. Uh, welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is up slightly, about 0.3 percent, as you as you can see here on the S and P. Uh, pretty much all across the board, uh, market is slightly up, but we did see the Russell 2000 leading the market today. I think Russell is up about one point some percentage today. Uh, everything else uh, around here, and so. So let's try to examine this market here today. Follow up from what we've been talking about this week, right? So looks like we actually looks like we actually gap down. So this is where we closed yesterday. So we gap down to here, right? And this is kind of the reason that you know when we uh, look at the market, analyze the market, I I I, I you know uh, often talk about benefit of the doubt, benefit of the doubt. So when I say benefit of the doubt goes to the buyers, it never means that market isn't going to see a pullback. Market is not going to see fluctuations. It means when you see a pullback like this, there is higher probability that the market is going to see a support or find support or dip buyers going to show up and then prop up the market. Right. I mean, we don't know always that, you know what I mean, that. Is that going to be here? Is that going to be there? In, you know, exact spot, right? Even here, we see that little bit of decline. Even going back, we see that little bit of decline, right? We've been giving it, we've been labeling this market bullish or benefit of the doubt goes to buyers pretty much all throughout um, November and, and throughout this December here. And, and that's kind of what it means when you see a move and you see a move and uh, you see little gap down and then you see how the market continues to move higher and so we're kind of in that environment it is again i say this a lot i'm going to say this again it is most exceedingly difficult endeavor in the market it is trying to call top and make living off of calling top it is it is one of the most difficult endeavor right so this market, the way it's been moving, uh, it is not going to reward any short sellers this entire year, this entire year. And and who's been rewarded in this market, this series, are those who've been holding through the positions, letting the market continue to move and riding these big moves. Instead of getting in and out too fast, too early, too often, right? Because I think a lot of people probably thinking at this point, as S&P is staying at 370, you know, maybe many of you thought that the top was at 320 after that correction prior to the election week. And then you're kind of missing out that move from 360, waiting for the correction. Always when you're trying to time the market, trying to time the market perfectly, it's always there's a problem there. So anyway, let's uh, let's examine this market here. So we see a gap down. Um, quickly, we see the market makes a move, and you see my short-term moving average here. You know, ba uh, based on based on um, closing basis, right? So each hour closing basis intraday. If I go to line chart, you can see that because line chart only inputs uh, closing prices, right? So you can see that it has never been uh, day this. I think in the month of December. Yeah, you can see here month of December that in closing basis each hour there was never been a day or never been an hour where price closed below my short term moving average here. And this is again another reason why we want to continue to give benefit out of, of the doubt to the buyers. You can see there were some fluctuations before. There's some here, there's some here, even this morning at open. When we see a market gaps down even below my short term moving average and what it looks to be that short term support uh, quickly. And it's funny because you think with this kind of gap down, you know, at least bears are trying to bring it down to a uh, retest this gap bear right here, right? Not even, I mean, we're just that much closed. Buyers just make sure bears don't even get there. And that tells you the strength. I mean, we're not seeing a big strength, right? Big bullish moves. But we talked about this on the weekend video that this is how bulls like to operate, especially in a strong bull market. They like to move inch by inch, 
you know, slowly march higher. And then what happens is a lot of times you will see some volatility and then they'll bring it right back up. And then one day you wake up, we see a big move and then it comes down. And, and, and that's what really kills so many bears because it just moves so slowly. And, and, and I think a lot of buyers, they get so impatient, right? Instead of holding through the moves, they get impatient. They think they misunderstand these grindy moves as a weakness. So um, that's first hour. And then a the second hour, we see a pullback. We get above that neckline here, a little double bottom, you think, maybe in the micro term, closed above it. And I was a little bit thinking, I thought, okay, so there was two gaps needs to be filled today because there's a gap down here. And there's a gap that was open here before. There were actually two gaps. So despite the fact that we only saw 0.3% performance from the S&P, actually the move was pretty, pretty powerful because most times when the gap gets filled, it usually acts as resistance, right? So Spider had to go through two resistance here and push through, here and push through. We didn't see any kind of weakness on that hour, weakness on that hour. We actually kept pushing through through this resistance, that gap resistance, the down gap, and here's a down gap. We pushed through both of those, right? That shows certain strength there just um, this day. And then after all the job has been done, it's just it started to move sideways. Again, it's, I know some people find this very irritating, right? It's like just it's such a slow grinding move. And whenever bears trying to come down, they don't even give it an inch, right? So again, I, you know, uh, we've been talking a lot about, um, you know, short term, mid term and long term. So I won't go there today. We'll just kind of we'll just analyze this here. What you see in your screen. I'll check out that oscillator and then we'll go from there. But, you know, I want to continue to give benefit of the doubt to the buyers. My short term moving average have not yet breached the downside. And that would just, uh, you know, continue to affirm that uh, we have a strong bull market here. Again, do not mistake that this market is weak just because this market has been so grindy, slowly marching higher. Keep in mind, that's how bull markets has always moved um, after a huge decline and when it gets back up to new all-time highs, right? And so let's check out that oscillator here real quick, get us some maybe better sense of this market. So the oscillator, you know what I'm saying? If I actually do this, we can see that the oscillator has been um, moving sideways. Practically this month of December, we are moving sideways. So what we're not seeing is, um, you know, bears are not taking advantage of this uh, overbought scenario where they usually like to bring it down, right? And then all of a sudden, that decline gets shallower, 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 and seems like almost no decline there while the oscillator moves sideways. Why is that, right? Just think about where we were as the price was back in, you know, prior to that election week, that October 30th, that was the main low. We're at around 320, 325. And we saw that very, very fast move that first week of November, that election week, right? Ever since then, market just been grinding like this. Sideways, we see a, a gap up, pulls back, sideways, a move and pulls back. And little by little by little, right, we went from all the 320. We saw that big jump, though, in that election week. And then ever since then, we came from 320 to 325, 322, 370, just by grinding like this. And again, and this is how the market operates. So uh, with that cross, that looks like bulls want to keep pushing it, you know, a little bit more here. And at this point, when my oscillator gets like this, overbought sentiment or when it gets hit that overbought level, it really doesn't mean anything at this point, right? We want to see this thing. Um, if you're a, if you're a sellers here, if you're a seller, you want to see this thing actually breaking below it and resetting all the way back down, right? We talked about this before that how, you know, bears ever since, see, you can see here ever since, ever since here, right? 
Bulls are bringing it all the way up. 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 That tells us that Bulls are bringing and pushing it as much as they can. But Bears are not pushing it all the way down here like this, right? That was an October decline um, like this, like this. They're not able to bring it all the way down. That tells us there's a strength here. Again, do not mistake this market is weak just because we're seeing these shallow, these these grindy, slow movements like 0.2%, 0.5%. And many of you guys are waiting for that 2 3% down day because that's how bears like to operate. Again, but this is how bulls like to operate. So, I mean, you know, if we look at this, where the market is today since, um, you know, that November or October lows, you can see that that's about 15% move. That's 15% move in little over a month. On the on the small caps, it's 25% move. On the banks, this financial sector is 25% move in just month and half. Right? The last time we saw bulls bring it all the way down was that 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 was that low right here. That that low right here. We talked about how we saw that bullish divergence here. And that was that major low. Right, just looking at this uh, kind of short to midterm here since uh, November lows or late October lows, and ever since then, um, you see how that move has been shallower and shallower. And in that process, what buyers did, they gained the momentum. They gained the momentum, and so this is how bull market is ran. This is how bulls like to operate, just little by little. You know what I mean? Inch higher, and then the and then just exhaust the sellers. So I want to continue to give benefit of the doubt to the buyers. I'll give you guys some targets for the for the remainder of this month of December, which I did that, uh, which I did, uh, which I did on the video that I did on the weekend. I'll leave that video on the outro screen. Uh, enjoy your evening and good luck trading tomorrow.